Hello, Vortex. What if I call the Vortex the big V? You know how I call God the big G? And I call the government the long G? What if I call the Vortex the big G? Would you be okay with that? I know that you'll get back to me. But, anyway, I was just thinking about how uh, sad I've been lately and how I don't want to be happy. Like, if, if I'm sad, I don't, I don't want to be happy. I don't want to force myself to be in a different state of mind than the one that I'm in. And I don't understand, I think this society is completely wrong. The way that we treat so-called mental illness is completely wrong. Everybody that you talk to about mental illness is wrong, okay? Listen to me, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. God sent me here on this wonderful, wonderful planet with such amazing human beings in this glorious country with unbridled freedom and overzealous amounts of liberty, right? Right? That's what they fought for, right? Fiona disagreed with that. <laughs> Did you hear her tires? That was like the sound of her disagreeing with the idea that America is a free country. Anybody that thinks that is a fucking retard. And if you blew your head off, no brains would come out because you can't see things clearly, okay? You know all the people that say that are fucking neocons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really are. Because they want to make believe that there's a reason why we're in the Middle East. Just like they want to make believe that, like, we're a nation that far surpasses all the other nations because of, of everything that we've been through that we lied about the entire fucking time just like everything else. You know? I mean, it's so retarded that people don't get it. Everything's a lie. There is nothing that you can trust. But I realize that that's a very, very, very daunting, dark, nasty-ass perspective. Which I guess is why I have a very limited number of friends. But I feel like this is the age when people like me will really thrive. Because everybody's crazy now. Just like I said they would be. I said that they would be crazy because of social media. And then the smartphones came out. And it just exacerbated that problem. Made everybody stupid. As if they weren't already. And... Everything's been going to hell ever since. I mean, I, I think that everything's been going to hell since 9-11. But... With, with smartphone technology, that, that completely destroyed society. The internet, human beings should have never been allowed the internet. And you could say that that's wrong, that, oh, I'm a fascist or some shit, but, I mean, we have to, like, there, there are things that we have that it's like unchecked freedom, you know? It's like too much, too much freedom. Now, I don't like the idea of, like, anybody policing anyone and telling us what we can and cannot do, but I will say that just the idea that like anybody anywhere in this country can just pull out a phone and destroy things, whether they destroy their own psyche, they destroy another person's career, they destroy another person's livelihood or their reputation or something like that, when, when they could get so much out of that service. They could learn a lot of shit. They could meet people that could challenge them in some kind of way. You know, 
Like there are so many beautiful things about the internet. And the fact that human beings have chosen to use the internet the way that they have, it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. And I think it needs to be taken away. And you can say that that's wrong or that, that I'm a little meanie over here for saying that, but you know, I really don't think that Americans would get it until they got the internet taken away. Because then when they have nothing to distract them from their petty, boring, pathetic lives, then maybe, maybe they would start to value other things like people, actual people. And I, I know that people say, oh, well, what about the quarantine and me, me, me. This is all your fault. Y'all just went along with this shit, man. You know, during this whole quarantine thing, I went out and saw friends and everything. I visited more friends during that quarantine. <laughs> I got a new job. I refused to play ball. I did the exact opposite. I always have and I always will. Fuck you. Society is so dumb. Do what you're told, buy what you sold, and then you play back dumb. But it's your fault every time. That's why you took the bait. That's why you got that's why you got all the technology. Because you need it so bad. I want to talk to my friends. I want to tell them all about my my days if they give a fuck. I mean, like, nobody cares. Nobody, I mean, this is like the most narcissistic culture. But like, people seem to think that, not only do they think they're so important, but it's like, there's no like leveling. There's no like people are getting to a point where like, okay, I'm doing this too much. I need to stop, you know, or I'm, this is making me upset or this is making me um, miserable. So maybe I should stop. Um, there's none of that. And the reason why, why there's none of that, I mean, may, maybe, maybe there's a little bit of that. Maybe every once in a while you'll meet somebody that realizes that they have an addiction problem. And maybe they'll uh, check themselves out and uh, pay more attention to how much time they spend on their phone. You know, that's a very small faction of people. The majority of people are fine with being drug addicts. So forgive me for not giving a fuck if the world ends, okay? Because it, it's, just, it's just so sad. Like what we've allowed ourselves to become as a society and people just keep making excuses for it. When they could change. They have the power to change one little thing, two little things, three little things, but they don't. They just keep doing the same shit. It's just obnoxious. It's obnoxious living in a society that is this dull. And they're so arrogant, you know? They're arrogant about being boring and lame and ridiculous. Like, I'm gonna whine about some shit that you said at a party. You know, like, this is where we're at. Let's not talk about child rape. That's not serious at all. You know, let, let's talk about uh, race. <laughs> How about we talk about race until the wheels fall off? And then even when the wheels fall off, we're just gonna keep dragging. We're just gonna keep dragging this fucking, uh, I don't know what it is. It's, I guess it's a car. What? <laughs> well, it was a car and the wheels fall off. Right, right, right. Well, now it's a wheelless vehicle a, a wheelless vehicle, that's hard to say, wheelless. It, this vehicle has no wheels, okay? And we're still dragging it down the road, whining about race, okay? Race, get it? Get it? 
giant psychop, you guys. Sorry, y'all can't see it. 